All right, sorry about the noise here, but we got it caught. We've got black light, folks. I hope you can hear me over top of the music. I'm at the bar. But I popped in the camera, and we're catching it, and this is live feed. And I'll get out of the way. Sorry about putting the bar up in there, and I'll try to keep that out of there. And now I'm not going to go to full screen because it's not going to—it's not really going to change nothing much. So there's another black light now, lower left. Dudley, Dudley, Dudley. This is wild. All right, I'm just going to keep it going here, folks, and I'm sorry that it's boring, but you're probably going to get 15 minutes of whatever we see on the screen. Actually, it's probably good we got some music in the background. I hope it's coming through somewhat decent.
Either that or it's like what I'm saying, it might be a new way that the fucking mining companies know to get away with this. They can just mine with a laser and just blast the shit out of the fucking earth. I mean, you know what happened? Remember uh, when the hydraulic mining? Every year, you know, hydro, you know, because there's the water pressure item, they fucking stopped that, remember? Well, this is what I'm trying to figure out. The first thing, I've never mentioned that on the internet. I'll never mention that. I don't need mine to come to the No, I'm serious. This is like having a big oil come out. Basically the same dog. I've got videos of that made where you can see the bright lights dancing around from the other stars. As a matter of fact, there's one of them right up there now. Up underneath the numbers. Either that or it's just some kind of a shadow of the numbers. Check that out. There it comes those two little fuckers I've seen before. Now, check that. Watch that shit. Now, I'm not stupid that the government could know that, okay, I'm looking at it, get me to say something stupid on the internet, and, get, you know, and then try to nail it down, and go, like, oh, yeah, you're being old, you're, you're who this is, and I'm like, but did you see those two little dots that came in there and took off? That wasn't a fucking bird. And I don't believe, I don't think they'd be flying into that. I don't believe in UFOs, man. They were too fucking high, just way up, the fuck up there, and it's birds, they ain't gonna fucking, oh, yeah, about that heat. And that's how these dots showed up, too. Now, do you seen the spots? And you're gonna—I mean, because it's gonna be pretty damn boring. And like I say, I apologize for the music, but I was at the bar. Now there they are, right now again, to the left, just going off the screen. Okay, I was gonna mention about what was on the top of the screen a little bit ago. There was two little dots. Now I do not—you know me—I've always said uh, if you—if I get any. Uh, I don't believe in UFOs. I don't believe in aliens. If I was to get one, I'd skin it, stuff it, and I'd have a museum, and I'd be rich, okay? But the idea, the actual factual, folks, you just seen what you saw there, and if you if you back the tape up, you will be able to see the same thing that went off the screen mid-level just a second ago was up at the top of the screen here. And the only reason I went to the, I was checking my cameras out. They're not my cameras. We know that, the, and now there they are, just to the left of the screen going lower again now, just going by. So... Whether it's Big Brother trying to screw around with us because we watch the cameras, or whether it's... And you can see the pulsating down by the black dot, the biggest one on the top. Above the numbers, there was a little bit of something pulsing to the right side of that one. So either Big Brother's trying to play with us by having a magic etch-a-sketch screen over top of the screen so that they know that we're going to the camera and they try to make a fools out of us by we're watching it. But... From what we know, it's total clear, and now you can see the star action, and we pretty much know this is from outer space, folks, because you can see the starlight in the middle of the screen from way out, and we're talking light years more than likely, right in the middle of the screen right now, below the cloud on the, is starting to fluctuate around. So we're definitely, it's like an ant pile, folks, like I've said before. When we were kids, you take a magnifying glass and you go out to the sun and you hold it over an ant pile and you fry the ant's ass. Well, I've done it, okay? The animal rights activists and everything, come get me. Be careful. I might get you if you try to come get me because I'm telling you what, I've fried some ants before and something is frying earth and frying these damn volcanoes. And you can see it. It's right on a video camera and it, you can't miss it flashing right now on the right-hand side of the screen there. If I don't get this, if this isn't coming through on the audio, because I did unplug the jack, I don't know if it's getting played on audio or not, but I'm going to upload this for the full 15 minutes, and we got some more interesting action that, and it's coming in even a dark black light now, a little bit off and on, flicking right in the middle of the screen. So, like I say, if Big Brother or something is trying to internationally try to pull some kind of crap off by freaking everybody out and scaring them, it doesn't scare me. I just want to know which planet it is that's magnifying these powerful rays down because you can see it. I mean, it's straight out. You can see it like crazy. Yeah, we got the capability if we had a satellite. Nah. I don't go for that. 
That's just an opinion from a very good friend at the bar. But the idea that we agree to disagree. Oh, yeah, yeah. It would be possible. It would be possible. Well, you can make a machine to make oxygen up there. But see, I'm just telling you truthfully between me now, because I don't know if the mic's working or not, but I disagree with that in a sense. I don't think it'd be worth the money to do it. I think the government maybe has tried to do it, but I don't think they would continue on doing something like that. It just wouldn't. Well, strategically, it would be smart militarily-wise. Yeah. If you have a command post or something. See, so anyway, I'm not sure if the mic's still working or not, so I'm going to upload this when it gets down to the 15 minutes, folks, so enjoy. And I'll put the pointer, too, where I've been seeing the light, and that basically right now it looks like it's dimmed out a little bit, but it looks like it's still there. And basically, no, because right now as I move my deal over there, and I didn't do it, but it is... Fluctu it's fluctuating right there and it's not me that did it my my cursor here on my screen here in the United States doesn't change a feed over in Japan so right there you can see this fluctuation going on right here and it gets to be pretty dramatic up like this if you really keep an old close eye and then we got this one here and this one here And we had the objects here, here, and I first originally seen them up here. And there you got fluctuation right here too now. That there's fluctuation right here. So all along this area, the whole mountain is getting all kinds of light action. You can even start watching it up here. It's not just steam that's coming out. It's here and also here. So I watched this area before, and this ain't the first time I've caught this stuff before. And it's not me catching it, really. It's the video camera that's catching it, the webcam. Isn't that fucking wild? All the way from outer space. And it's all over. It's bam, 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 bam. And when it gets up enough up here to hits that lava, it's just like magician throwing sulfur. All I know is it changed. You see that one there is flickering up on the top a little bit. And there it's got action above. Look at that shit. I'm just glad I caught that and that, those little deals, because I seen it on the other one. And it was hella clear on the other one, but I didn't think of enough time to go ahead and hit record. What's going to be wild? Mother Nature's been doing this shit for years. Billions of years. And we just now find it out. Yeah, well, we haven't been around for billions of years. Yeah. As far as we know, unless we've been reincarnated over and over. Check that out. It's getting ready to get up here. That fucker, I bet you it's going to blow again within another hour or something. This got temperature changed like crazy too. See, this, is, this is morning. The sun's coming up hot like it is. Check it out. She's starting to get hot again. Right here. I'm thinking, I'm starting to believe this is what a lot of people have said about it being a, some kind of a crystal planet or a crystal something. And it makes sense. There's so many big objects out in space flying around and orbiting around. Some big piece of crystal or something. A, you say crystal, but it's glass, a, a diamond or something up in the sky between the sun and it's at a certain time and certain rotations when we come around in our rotation around the sun every 88 years 82 years you see Germans have always been big on 88 right 
69, 69, right? 9 means no, right? No? That means no go there?